In this video, I'm going to tell you who false accusations like the one in this story that involves Chris Brown affect the most. So my name is Monte Lee. I'm the host here of the Care Juice podcast, and we are talking about the story. You clicked on the title and thumbnail. Chris Brown exposed some accusations that came out about him doing the R word. And I'm going to go right to TMZ for the report. So according to TMZ, Chris Brown posts our accusers messages saying she's lying and threatens to sue. Apparently, Chris Brown is firing back at the woman who accused him of R and sued him for $20 million, insisting voicemails and texts she sent him after their encounter prove it was consensual. The string of texts began very shortly began very shortly after he and the anonymous accuser hooked up on a yacht in Miami back in December 2020 and continued for several months. In the text, Chris tells the woman she should take a plan B after their encounter and she responds that she will and adds, I want to F you tonight at midnight, LOL. Months later, after she and Chris apparently talked about meeting up again, but never did, the woman sends a nude selfie and says, you were honestly the best D I've ever had, LOL, I just want it again. Chris didn't respond. She seemed to get peeved texting, you know full well I wasn't pressing you about no D, you told me stay and then gonna try to play me, question mark. No, that's crazy. I didn't deserve that, but you def got it. Here is a voicemail Chris posted on IG saying where I'm just going to let I'm just going to play it. Here we go. What time is it? Put the time and date. Chris Brown posted on his IG after that. No more dragging me through the mud. Clearly you can see, you can all see the cap. If you're not familiar, cap is just another phrase for false information lying. Now let's see if the media will keep that same energy they had trying to destroy me to run the real story. Me and my team are taking legal action on this situation. You don't play with people lives like that. Thanks team breezy goes on to say here, Chris clearly feels vindicated in the case and said on social media, no more dragging me through the mud. Like we said, TMZ broke the story. The woman accused Chris of drugging her during the yacht party and taking her into a bedroom and aring her. TMZ says we spoke with the accuser's lawyer, well, with the accuser's lawyer, Ariel Mitchell, and she confirms the woman sent Chris the text and voicemail. She tells TMZ she's withdrawing from the case because she says the woman had not informed her about the messages. Meanwhile, Miami Peach, Miami Beach. PD tells us the case is still under investigation. However, they received the messages between Chris and the accuser. Now that sets the stage. That is what we're dealing with here. And hearkening back to the first statement that I made, who does the false accusations hurt and impact the most in the grand scheme of things? I know the sentiment of a lot of people and a lot of people are going to say that it's the men and they would have a good argument because if you are innocent, which right now and in a lot of times with social media, it's you're guilty until proven innocent with the court of public opinion. And that's not the way the court process should be. However, a lot of people say the men, because if you are an innocent man in that scenario, it ruins your life just having the accusation. But I'm going to argue that the person that this affects 
the most and impacts the most, if it's allowed to let slide in society, is actually women. Why do I say that? Because if you are a woman who is a, actually ard, every time there's one of these false accusations that's not true, it just makes people be more skeptical of when an actual accuser who has a valid accusation comes before people, comes before a court, you have these instances which could muddy the situation and cause people to call into question if their accusation is actually true. This harms women more so than anything because I'm not a woman, however, I can only imagine that the worst thing that could ever happen to a human being is being violated in that way. So it is my position that I appreciate Chris Brown for going after her and saying that he's going to sue her. But what I want to say and what I want to push is this. What is the consequences for somebody who makes a false accusation, if it's proven to be false, what happens on the other end of things? Because if he was convicted of this, it could ruin his life. Just the accusation could harm his reputation, harm his ability to work, uh, harm his ability to provide for his family. So what's the converse of that? I think if somebody is proven to be making, if it's proven that somebody's made false accusations, they need to be prosecuted and held criminally, criminally liable, not just civilly, because that could ruin somebody's life. And I know it seems like I'm being harsh right now, but this is a serious matter. And every time one of these false accusations come out, it harms an actual person who was violated in that way. So when they come forth, their accusation is not treated the way it should be because people are skeptical because this is becoming all too prevalent. And that's my position on this. And this is the tact that I want more people to have. It is not believe all women. It is listen to all people investigate and believe all truth. Listen to all people, investigate and believe all truth. And I'm going to stand on that. So let me know what you guys think about this situation. If somebody doesn't agree with me, I'm open for people to have the conversation. Please keep the comments respectful. I am not condoning anybody who violates anyone, anybody who's violent. I'm not saying that Chris Brown is a saint, but any person that is falsely accused of something so heinous has the right to seek justice on the opposite end. And that's my position on it. Hey, this has been another video here of the Carrot Juice Podcast channel. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to get more content like this. Also press the notification button so you get a notification anytime I drop. And I'm going to leave it at that and I'll see you until next time.